Guys, this video, I am going to be as realistic as possible and open to you guys as possible. Guys, there is something really, really painful about Forex trading. There is something really painful about Forex trading. And being in, in this for some time now, I've seen and I've really experienced and seen how difficult it is. Countless times, countless emails have come to me, have been written to me, and people have actually sent me WhatsApp. That the WhatsApp messages sometimes overwhelm me because there are so many. Um, most of the people, like 95% of the people who send me messages on WhatsApp, uh, they want to be mentored, they want to uh, take a trading course from me. Uh, some of them say I should uh, mentor them for free which is understandable i can understand why you want me to mentor you for free uh you you may say okay you are already a forex trader you're already profitable you're already making a living out of it why don't you do it for free now for that one i'll tell you i cannot do it for free because um i put in a lot of work to learn these things or to learn or develop this uh this skill that i have and i can't just give it to you guys for free okay uh, I have seen courses and myself, I have actually been in courses where the fee is up to $5,000. I've been uh, in classes where uh, people even charge up to $10,000. Okay. Yeah. I've actually uh, contacted one of the biggest Forex mentors and I won't mention his name. A very, very big mentor actually that, uh, that I admire up to this day. I know he's a real mentor. He's a hedge fund guy. He's really really good at trading okay contacted him because i wanted him to mentor me and he his course costs up to thirty five thousand pounds thirty five thousand pounds guys in ugandan shillings that is about um that could be about about 150 million ugandan shillings okay that's a lot of money for a course or mentorship my mentorship program however costs only 400 us dollars and that includes six months of free vip signals my mentorship program is one of the easiest and well explained mentorship program or course that you can ever go and find out there and most of the people that i have actually taught uh, in my mentorship program people have mentored have gone on to become successful traders so i know that my mentorship really works my course does develop people who can become independent traders so with that aside guys the main reason why i recorded this video out for you guys <clears throat> is because i want you guys to know the reality of what what forex is or what's going on forex is not a simple thing let nobody ever tell you that forex trading is simple in fact i can tell you right now that forex trading is more difficult than you going to school to learn mathematics or to learn physics guys don't let anybody tell you that you can walk into the forex market and uh find it as easy as learning how to say cook rice okay Forex trading is not as easy as that. It is very complicated. The reason why Forex trading is complicated is not because of technical analysis or sentiment analysis or fundamental analysis. It's not because of that. Okay. You can learn how to draw your levels on the charts. You can learn supply and demand, whatever ICT, whatever you guys want to say. Okay. Support resistance, order blocks, what blah, blah, blah. You can name all that stuff, right? You can learn how to do all those fundamentals and everything and all the forms of analysis. You can learn all of them, but you can still remain unprofitable. And that is the challenge that most of the people who send me messages have. Most of them actually know how to draw technicals or do the analysis, but they ask me what could be the reason why I am still failing after five years, after six years of trading. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys step by step some of the reasons. I will not tell you everything because can, this video can be very long. But I am going to outline for you guys 
what is wrong with you as a trader or why you could be failing up to now after three four five years of trading okay watch this video till the very end guys ask questions why you don't understand now when you walk into the forex market guys this is what happens okay when you walk into the forex market you get uh what they call um a new be a beginner's luck you trade you make profits you trade you make profits but at the end of it all you end up becoming a losing trader why beginner's luck wears out this is what really happens or this is really how the things work and this is what affects people you know your technicals you know your fundamentals you know how to draw all those things but this is exactly what is holding you back i'm going to give you the explanation right now the first thing that is holding you back is the mentality that you have the mentality that you have now what do i mean by mentality mentality can be a subsection of your psychology it's not exactly your psychology subsection of your psychology because psychology is very broad okay it's very broad so uh, i'm talking about the subsection of your psychology which is the mentality that you have when you come into trading now why is it that you profit when you are in a demo and when you come into a live account you start losing now let me give you an example when you are trading euro usd on a demo account okay if you do analysis on a demo account and you see okay euro usd has come to a support zone what do you normally do what do you do when when you're on a, a demo you do not procrastinate you don't hesitate to take the trade you immediately execute the trade put a stop loss and a take profit and walk away that's what most people do on a demo they trade correctly on a demo they trade detaching themselves from the trade on a demo now what do you do when you come on a live account on a live account your mentality changes okay you start to overthink you start to over scrutinize you start to over investigate a trade is it really at support has it really bounced have i really confirmed as you're still thinking like that the trade moves away from the best entry point which you could have taken that is one of the things that is causing you to lose on a real account versus demo the second thing on a demo you are detached from the money because it is not real your mentality you know that okay this is not real money so you trade without attachment to the money and that is contributing to your success on a demo when you come onto a real account you attach yourself to the money because you know it's real <laughs> you start saying this is real money i must not lose it and that causes you to become emotional close trades too early close trades in in, in a loss close you start interfering with the trades okay so what do you do to combat this i want you to do this one thing i want you to open up a demo account and also open up a live account this is what i want you to do trade these two concurrently but first execute your trades on the demo account and then copy the exact trade on your real account guys i tried this and it blew my mind when you start to trade like that execute the trade first on the demo and execute it also on your live account the same account size when you're opening the demo account open it the same account size as your real account and trade and take the same exact trades but make sure you first take the trade on the demo then also take it on your live account try that and it will help you fix some of that issue okay the second thing that i've really seen that has caused so much difficulty and pain within the forex market is not emotions not emotions but it is not securing profit now guys <clears throat> I wish I could just uh, like send you guys screenshots, okay? I wish I could send you screenshots of people who have sent me screenshots of their before and after. 
of a trade you will see that uh, traders are actually profitable most of the traders are profitable but they do not secure profit i don't know why but they do not secure profit you find someone taking a hundred dollars to 150 dollars okay you you find himself floating 50 dollars profit having a, a total equity of 150 US, usd now in normal senses that is a 50 percent gain on the account which is impossible in most of the scenarios in business there's no bank which can give you 50 percent interest even in 10 years you will not get 50 percent okay but you are making 50 dollars in one day or in one week with on your 100 dollar count okay or you're making say 200 dollars on your thousand dollar count that's 20 percent in just a week let's say in one week but you continue holding the trades for example uh, my dear people who like swing trading like i am i am a swing trader so this affects mostly swing traders but also affects day traders okay you find that your profit your trade has gone up to maybe 200 dollars on a thousand dollar count and instead of getting your stop loss and moving it up to a hundred dollars at least securing a hundred dollars you leave your stop loss intact and then you leave the trade to run you wake up the next morning and find that the trade reversed and it is now floating $50. Then you rush and close the $50 because you fear that the trade is going to now go back in a loss and you lose. <laughs> Guys, these are the realities of trading I'm telling you. Now, how do you fix this problem? Because I've seen this is a big problem to many people. How do you fix this? You fix this by moving or trailing your stop loss trail your stop loss always when you're in profit trail your stop loss into profit this is what actually helped me to pass my prop farm challenge i'll be giving you a video update very soon on that and this helped me this some of the things i'm telling you helped me to pass my prop farm challenge okay and when you secure that profit when you close your profit okay oh for example you've been trading a week with a hundred dollars and you've grown it to 125 or 130 us dollars okay why don't you take 20 dollars out of the 100 out of the 30 that you've made and leave 10 there so that you start the next week with 110 us dollars why do you leave 130 there to try to compound it why remember the market is full of uncertainties the market can reverse at any time and take you out without any mercy so learn to secure your profits trail your your profits into your, your profits if you're in profit trail your stop loss and after you've closed your trade at the end of the week or at the end of the day take some of that money out and put it on your bank account or use it to reward yourself buy yourself a nice cloth nice anything that you can remember yourself uh with okay the other thing that i would like to tell you that i've seen as a very painful thing that is causing very big problem within the forex market is looking at other traders comparing yourself to other traders you've seen youtubers nowadays crying complaining and doing what and saying they are not profitable they are not what it's because they are comparing themselves to other traders they're saying i am better than so and so or so and so is better than so and so you've not come into the market or you've not come into trading to compare yourself to other people okay you are not comparing yourself to anybody else or any other trader you are in this alone you are in this to make your money and help your family don't compare yourself to other people when you start comparing yourself to other people in the forex market you will start over risking you'll start doing things in a way that that you're not supposed to do for example uh you have a thousand dollar account and there's another trader who has maybe a 10k or 15k account okay and the trader who has a 15k account makes two thousand dollars okay and then he buys something good maybe an iphone or something then you who has a one thousand dollar one thousand five hundred us dollar account you also want to prove that you're a good trader by getting the same monetary sum in profit with that trader yet your account can't handle that you start over leveraging you start over risking and that ends up blowing your account or putting your account in jeopardy or ruining your entire trading life causing you a lot of pain and sleepless nights so one thing i want you to do is do not compare yourself to any other trader 
compare yourself to yourself. Don't compare yourself to any other person. Compare yourself to yourself so that you can become better. Okay? The other thing is this. When you are trading Forex, when you are trading Forex, just know that not every single day that you are trading is going to be profitable. <laughs> so, not every day that you're going to trade is going to be profitable. Some days you will get a very good setup that you really see checks every uh, point within your strategy, but you end up executing that trade and it goes in a loss and hits your stop loss. There is a nothing wrong with that. That is how the market works. Not every single day will see you profitable. There are days when you will actually fail or lose. And there are days when you don't expect to win and you actually end up winning. So learn to take care of your heart, of your mind, of your emotions, and know that yes, today I got a good setup, but it was a losing one. I will get another one tomorrow. And then you move on. That will help you not to revenge trade, not to try to chase after trades when they've failed. For example, a setup has failed and you continue trying to chase after it. You end up losing more money. Finally, guys, I don't want to make the video too long. Learn to analyze the market from all points of view. Don't only analyze the market from a technical point of view or looking at the charts. Learn to analyze the market from a sentiment perspective, fundamental perspective, this is basic economics, GDP, CPI. Look at the fundamentals, what the macro or microeconomics are doing within certain economies like the US, UK, Japan, okay? Those major economies, Russia, uh, Germany. Look for what is happening in their economy, okay? Before you trade, okay? Because sometimes you may take a trade like, for example, gold is very volatile because it is sensitive to geopolitics and other things and also interest rates. So if you're just trading on the best on the charts and you don't know what's happening in the fundamental side of things or the sentiment of the market, are people fearful in the market? That can cause gold to maybe buy. People may buy gold to because they are fearful of the market, okay? The, the fear drives gold up, okay? And for you, you're trading gold, you've seen it has reached a resistance, then you start selling. Yet you don't know that the sentiment of the market is fearful. So you end up losing like that because you've not traded or according to all forms of analysis. So learn to analyze from a technical, fundamental sentiment point of view and unify your analysis to get trading thesis or direction. Okay. The final thing, guys, as I go is this. There is nobody who has a viewing ball or a magic ball to see what is going to happen in the market. There is no special indicator that predicts the market. I have an indicator that I've developed uh, over a few years uh, that helps me to trade, but it is not a predicting indicator. It helps me to find price action within the market and to trade it properly. But don't use indicators or technical analysis or your analysis to predict the future. Or don't believe a guru who tells you he's predicting the future. Learn to know that the market has a 50-50 chance of going into profit in your direction or heading the opposite direction. So what you have to do is play the game of probabilities using risk to reward ratios in order for you to come out profitable. Risk to reward ratios help you to develop a profitable edge within the market even with a strategy or which wins just 30 percent so guys with that uh let me leave you guys if you've liked this video do leave a very big like on this video guys comment down below with anything you want to comment down below and if you're not subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash the subscribe button guys let's grow this channel together thank you guys for watching up to now until next time peace and out